Okay, in this video we're going to look at some examples that multiply to give a perfect square trinomial. For example, x plus 3 all squared, uh, example 2 here, and example 3 is a minus 1 all squared, okay? So we'll start with the first one, x plus 3 all squared, and um, there is a one, there's only one right, right, correct way to do this, and there's one way that uh, people think you should do it. Um, so I, I guess we'll start with the wrong way, and I'll just show you why this is wrong. <laughs> well, you can probably guess the wrong way. Sorry, I'm I'm not going to start the right way. I, I I'm just I'm not sure which way to start. But this squared, okay, is touching the is is on the parenthesis. So to expand this expression out, we write parenthesis times parenthesis. So we write x plus three times x plus three. Okay, and then we multiply it out. So it's x plus 3 times x plus 3. And if we multiply it, we get x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. Three, 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times 3 is 9. And when I add like terms, I get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay? Now, the wrong way, the ro and this is correct, by the way. This is the right way to do it, and that is correct. The wrong way is going like this, x plus 3 all squared, and saying that that is simply, um, I'll just distribute the squared here and here, and I get x squared plus 3 squared, which gives me x squared plus 9. Why is this wrong? This is wrong, first of all, because it's not the same thing as the right answer, because where's my 6x? And again, you know, how do you explain it? Well, first of all, you're breaking the rules if you put a squared in here and here when we have a, a plus sign separating the terms. This is wrong. It's it's wrong to assume you can do that. And um, the other thing is, if I was to put numbers in there, so if I imagine that x was 10, so if I had, you know, 10 plus 3 all squared, is that equal to... Um, 10 squared instead of x, 10 squared plus 3 squared, which would be 100, 10 squared is 100, plus 9, right, 109. So is that 109? Or is it equal to, If or should I do it the right way, you know, 10 plus 3 all squared, and um, Square the squared is on the parenthesis, so I need to write parenthesis times parenthesis, and then I'll have 10 plus 3 times 10 plus 3, okay? And then if I uh, multiply it out, I get 10 times 10, 10 squared, plus 10 times 3, 30, uh, and then plus 3 times 10, 30, and then plus 3 times 3, 9, which gives me 100 plus 60 plus 9, which of course is 169. Okay, and this looks an awful lot like the correct way, which is x squared plus 6x plus 9, isn't it? Whereas this one is just, you know, 10 squared plus 3 squared or x squared plus 3 squared. So this is the wrong way. This is looking an awful lot like the right way. And this is the correct answer, okay? And check this because, look, 10 plus 3 all squared, of course, is 13 squared. Put that in your calculator or do it in your head. 13 squared is... One hundred and sixty-nine, isn't it? Now um, we know now for a fact that ten plus three all squared cannot be written is not the same thing as ten squared plus three squared. So this is totally wrong. Okay, and you need to see this now because it, it, a lot of people think this is right. And as you go through algebra, you might have that idea yourself. But we've proven now that this is not true. And similarly, x plus three all squared is not x squared plus three squared. Okay, so we cannot do that. Okay, so we need to write parenthesis times parenthesis and then multiply it out with the double distributive property and we get x squared plus 6x plus 9. So let's have a look at example 2. It is x minus 2 all squared in parentheses, and the same thing applies. I cannot distribute the squared. I need to think that the squared is touching the parentheses, so I write this as parenthesis times parenthesis. Okay, I take my time. I go step by step. Don't rush it. Don't try and get a quick answer because, it, it, you know, you'll be wrong. Get the right answer. And then x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 minus 2x 
Negative 2 times x is minus 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4. Now when I add like terms, I get x squared minus 4x plus 4, okay? And just to note that x minus 2 all squared is certainly not equal to x squared minus 2 squared, which would just be x squared minus 4. Minus 4. It's x squared minus 4x plus 4. So this is correct. And similar, and just like we showed earlier, it's very similar. This is not correct, okay? You, this is not the right answer, okay? So you've got to write parenthesis times parenthesis and then multiply it out with the double distributive property to get the answer. So now you try this one. Um, example 3, it is a squared, mi a minus 1, all squared. So press pause and try, try a minus 1 all squared. Okay, now I'll do it. Now you should have got a squared uh, plus 2a, sorry, a squared. So the answer should be a squared um, minus 2a plus 1, right? So what we do is we take the parenthesis, and the square root is such in parenthesis, so that's parenthesis times parenthesis, which is a minus 1 times a minus 1, okay? And we multiply that out. a times a, a squared. a times negative 1, minus 1a. Negative 1 times a is minus 1a. Negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. Then we need to add like terms. So we have an a squared term. Negative 1a minus 1a. In debt, a dollar. Subtract a dollar, you're in debt. Two dollars, negative 2a. And then plus 1, and this is the answer. Okay.